Idaho Governor Brad Little is addressing the concerns of eastern Idaho groundwater users. He says farmers from both sides of the state are making progress toward a new agreement managing Idaho's water rights. The governor was in Pocatello today where Local News 8's Seth Ratliff met with him for a one-on-one -on -one interview. Seth asked him about the concerns of eastern Idaho farmers. Seth, what did the governor say? Well, Todd and Linda, I met with the governor for about half an hour this morning discussing the issue, and he says he is confident with the progress farmers on both sides of the state are making towards the new water deal. Often the case when people are negotiating, the further away from the hard date, the further they are, and the closer they get, the closer they get together. In June, Governor Brad Little brokered a deal between the water groups, ending a historic water curtailment, which would have dried up nearly 330,000 acres of Idaho farmland to reduce a shortfall of water for first rights holders. Farmers now have until October 1st to determine how they will move forward. I'm an agricultural person uh, for generations here in Idaho. Uh, and the last thing I want to do is see anything that's disruptive to uh, not only individual farmers, but our agricultural communities, which is the backbone and the heart of the state of Idaho. Amid these negotiations, Eastern Idaho farmers asked how this new agreement can work when past agreements have failed. They've made deals, mitigation deals in the past that we're supposed to improve I these asked things. the governor exactly that. We need to do it this time of year for next year so that there's certainty. I don't want to have it be like we did this year, where it's in April, May, and June, because of how disruptive that is. It's just not fair. Eastern Idaho farmers have been critical of the state's water management efforts and the method by which the Department of Water Resources predicts water shortfalls. The water below. Governor Little says looking at those methods and measuring the state of the aquifer is a high priority. We're gonna get better at that all the time. Technology's gonna help an enormous amount. Our ability to real-time measure water. Main concern farmers are voicing. Will they have water next year? Governor Little says in order for that to happen, these negotiations are looking at potential changes that Idaho farmers may need to make. One of the things that farmers do very well is they get more efficient all the time. For better or worse, we are very dependent upon crops that consume a lot of water. Alfalfa, potatoes, in particular sugar beets. We need to think about our grandchildren. We need to think about the long-term future of the state of Idaho and the sustainability of our communities that are dependent upon irrigated water. Throughout our entire conversation, Governor Little was adamant that this water rights discussion is not a battle between eastern and central water, um, water users in Idaho, but rather a negotiation between neighbors. We are also posting our entire interview with the governor on our website, localnews8.com. Okay, check that out there. The governor in the past, Seth, has talked about the going to a, a higher level yet than the state of Idaho. The U.S. Supreme Court has been involved in other states in a very similar situations with water. Did he talk about that possibility today? Yes, he's spoken about that before uh, when he first signed the executive order protecting Idaho's water sovereignty, as well as today. He mentioned that that is an option that he does not um, wish that the state would go down because it takes the uh, decision making out of the hands of Idaho farmers and Idaho residents, and instead puts that uh, ability to choose in the power of the Supreme Court and the United States government. And they would lose control to make that decision, and the decision that a big brother government would make might not be something the farmers would be happy with. Exactly, which is why he's asking that we put this in the hands of the farmers yeah. for the state on both sides. Okay. All right, so where does it go from here? Well, we have until October 1st, which is when we'll actually have that mitigation agreement fully, that is the deadline for that mitigation agreement, so we can expect it then. And they said that they will be updating us and keeping um, people in the state of Idaho up to date on the progress towards that agreement. Okay, Seth, we'll do the same. You'll do the same. Thanks for exactly. letting us know.